Your brain controls all of your thoughts, all your actions, all your emotions. It even controls your body in ways that you don't even think about. Breathing, digestion, making urine, regulating body temperature. To compete in international sports such as the Tour de France, um, an athlete not only must be in peak physical form, so in shape, but ultimately, right, we could ask, is it the athlete with the fittest mind that also will be the winner? So this begins uh, the nervous system unit M and N. This is part one, the human brain. So let's go. Uh, brain, dead easy. There are going to be six parts that we need to know to identify on the diagram and give the function. Really, really straight up, easy, straightforward, not tricky at all. Some other things that we need to know about the brain. We have a skull. Uh, our brain weighs about three pounds and it has eight bones that uh, form our skull. When we're born, the uh, plates are not quite uh, fused together and a baby has a soft spot as well. The baby's neck muscles, right? If you've ever held a newborn, they're not strong enough to hold up that heavy, heavy mass yet and those muscles have to work up to that. As well, protecting our central nervous system, our brain and our spine are a series of uh, membranes, tissues with fluid in it. So when you've heard the expression spinal tap, there's a band that name by that name, but a spinal tap when they remove the fluid from your nervous system, an infection in your uh, those membranes, meningitis you might have heard of, uh, can be fatal and quite dangerous. Uh, this is also where, where they will insert drugs, painkillers during childbirth uh, into your spine, spinal column. So let's walk through the six parts of the brain. Really straight up easy cerebrum, largest portion of the brain and uh, probably in our minds, right, the way we appreciate reality, this is the part of the brain that we occupy, uh, we live in the conscious brain. So this is where our personality, our memories, our emotions, um, what we think about for the future, uh, when we recall the taste of a food that we like, this is where it resides, uh, cerebrum, conscious brain. The surface of the cerebrum uh, called the cerebral cortex, highly folded. And again, anything that's highly folded in biology, we can think of as providing lots and lots of surface area. And this is exactly it, um, the function of it. So our brain has two hemispheres, the right and the left. And some of us might be more right brain dominated, which means uh, that that is the part of the brain that controls the left side of the body versus someone who's left brained who uh, predominantly resides in the control of the right hand side of your body. And I think you did a little test to see. Uh, thinking of it like a hot dog bun. In the middle, the hot dog bun is connected, right, by a in, unless it breaks open and then it's sad because your hot dog can fall out. But this connection is what we want to think of. There is going to be a connection and this is going to be called the corpus callosum. This is the nerve tract that connects the right to the left side of the brains. So when you have a thought um, of a word, say water, and it resides on the left side of your brain, and then you want to imagine what water looks like or what water tastes like, that would reside on the right side of the brain. So the corpus's job is to connect those two thoughts. Uh, if you've ever heard of, uh, to go back, the Rain Man, uh, he was born with, he was, the movie is based on a true story, he was born without a corpus callosum and these can lead to um, different brain functions, highly, highly capable of memorizing great amounts of information in a very short period of time, but not <coughs> good at uh, doing other things with their brain. So the thalamus, excuse me for coughing, is the sorting center. Uh, it sorts what impulses are going to reach uh, the 
conscious brain and it's going to relay information from the conscious brain back down to other parts of the brain. So it's known as the sorting center and it's sorting input, sensory input, and the sensory input comes up the spine, through the brain stem, and then into the brain. The thalamus is going to sort where in the cerebrum the sensory input uh, or the information is going to go. And um, there's the Rain Man. I had it on the wrong slide. So again, if you've never seen this movie with Dustin Hoffman and Tom Cruise, right, this is an example of a person who's based on a true story of a man who did not have a fully developed corpus callosum. So hypothalamus, really important center for homeostasis, the regulation of our body temperature, our water balance, our blood pressure, when we go through puberty, when we ovulate, all these things uh, are going to be controlled through the hypothalamus and it is the neuroendocrine, uh, sorry for the spelling, endocrine uh, center, meaning it's going to be the connection between the nervous system and the endocrine system and it's going to control the pituitary gland which resides right below it. So when you want to find the hypothalamus you go to this dangly I call it right here there's going to be the anterior and the posterior which we'll do in part two of the nervous system. You go right above it and there you'll find the hypothalamus. Cerebellum is part of your hindbrain, second largest part of your brain. It controls your posture, your balance, uh, your fine motor control is all controlled here. Medulla oblongata, it is part of the brain stem. So as your nerve impulses come up through the spine in this brain stem here, there's this little bulge at the top. We call this the pons. Right below the pons is the medulla oblongata, reflex center. So blinking, swallowing, heart rate, um, breathing rate, all these things are controlled by this part of the brain. Uh, just to recap, the key ideas, right? The are the parts of the brain and their function. And uh, if you counted, I think it was it would not be exactly six because the pituitary gland is the gland. So you could stop it here and remind yourself of the six parts that we need to know. Hope that helped.